hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel um it's been a minute since i sat down and filmed a video um i thought i'd just give an update on what i'm using right now um for the month of july as of right now because i i don't know i've just been having <laughs> i don't know what's going on because you know, June ended and I thought when June ended, I would end this notebook, no matter like how many blank pages we had here in the back or that I had here in the back. Um, and then when July happened, I don't know, I just didn't want to set up a bullet journal. And so, um, yeah, and I bought this at Ross and I decided to use this for July because this is a July start and I just really love the layout so this is how the weeks look I really wish Saturday Saturday and Sunday had the, like their own space like this um, because I like writing to do's on one side and then like do some of like journaling and stuff right like little things that happened that day but um, yeah I really really loved the bullet journal um i really love this notebook and how it um i don't know i just i just really love it i really love the idea of this but right now i just don't feel like doing that right now for this month honestly and it's already uh, it's already like what july i think 7th yeah today's july 7th and so there's no point I feel like in me starting a whole bullet journal. And so I thought for the month of July that I could just use this planner and then my Hobonichi cousin, just because I don't know, something about the Hobonichi cousin sparked my interest again. So I redated it because this is a 2022 that I bought from eBay. And so just redated it and I want to um, do the past week here um, last time I was in this was May so I was in here May and then June was in the, well I have in the main here as well I think I started this May 19th yeah May 19th um, but yeah i clipped back these pages because i had dated these um for may and didn't end up using it and um i can't take the stickers off so i just like peeled it or clipped it back like that and did july so i got july so far um for the weeklies and then the dailies i am not uh, i don't know I don't think I'm gonna go um you know I don't want to skip this whole month here but at the same time to do the dailies it'd be so much easier just to do you know do this day and just redate it which I might do that and just have all these pages be like commonplace notes and whatnot I think I might do that to make it easier to redate so today is Sunday okay so I'm gonna go back to the first and we take this. See, this was supposed to be a chat about what I'm currently using, but I'm gonna do this quickly.
so I redated the dailies. I need to put a bookmark of some sort or like a tab. And then I also have these back pages as well for notes and such if I need to, but yeah. Um, this is, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but this cover is from Amazon. Um, it was, I think I got it for like $26 um, because I don't have like an... Um, I realized I didn't have an A5 like folio cover. I like a traveler's notebook, but I never, I don't have like a, or I didn't have a folio cover. So I, I ordered one and at first I thought I was going to use another moleskin because I have this yellow, um, grilled moleskin, but I just wasn't feeling it and I didn't want to like force myself to write in it because I didn't want to writing it and not enjoy it and then feel like I wasted a whole notebook so I decided to come back in my Hobonichi because it's undated and um use this for right now along with my um what brand is this I think it's blue sky yeah my blue sky weekly and monthly calendar planner calendar or I don't know, Blue Sky Monthly and Weekly Calendar. I just cover that up here. I got this from Ross. I think I already mentioned that. It was like $5. I just really loved the cover. Like the floral is so pretty to me. I don't know why I loved it. And then this baby pink is just so pretty. I need to cover that up or something because I don't like how that looks. Um, in the back here of some sticky notes. And then I have this little like it's like an a6 little dashboard i made with a pocket and i just like have it clipped back here also have this the magnet holding it here i just have some stickers and memo sheets more sticky notes here um here up front I just have some sticky notes these are sticky notes as well um these are from aliexpress and these are from ross Cute little sticker that I found from Walmart. Um, more sticky notes. I just need sticky notes. When I just need to hurry and write down something. And then I have this mostly filled out. Here is the monthly, which is mostly filled out. I use it for bills, um, birthdays, events or anything like that going on, appointments, you know, all that. So this is how this week looks. The first week in this planner, I still need to write for the past couple days, but it really don't take much to fill these, um, fill these in. So I've been using it for like to-do lists and then also like, you know, like I said, writing stuff, little things that happened that day. Um, the first, I wanted to, not much happened and so I had more space so i just um stuck this little sticker it was on the strawberries and i just i don't know i took it off because i wanted to include it in my journal but decided to include it in here and then like like i said to-do list and then do it did a little bit of journaling um here as well this for the july put some stickers here plan to um write a little bit about ha what happened that day like I said, to-do list. Um, and then I have this sticky note here for a to-buy list for the week. So I like just making a list of stuff we need. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much blank other than that. So 
that's how I've been using this and I have been really enjoying it. I love this sticky note, but I, I mean, honestly, I can take this off because I don't need it anymore. So, yeah. I need to fill this in and then this pretty much this week will be complete. I need to, I don't know what I plan to fill here. Um, I might not like write anything here since there's not that much space, but I'll figure it out. This is today. Um, my order ended up coming on Saturday, not today, um, which was this cover here. Ended up coming yesterday, so there's that. Um, I probably will later sit down and write a to-do list for tomorrow. But other than that, that's how I've been using this. Really love this. I usually, well, I start taking this with me on the go, like if we're going grocery shopping and stuff or running errands just because like I have the list and stuff in here. So yeah, I have been really enjoying this. And if I stop using it, you know, I really don't mind because it was $5 and I can always come back to it. But right now I really love it and I want to continue to use it. So there's that. Um, I really already kind of talked about the Hobonichi. So I feel like I don't really need to talk more about it, honestly. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much this video. I need to do the monthly in here. I mean, I really don't got to, honestly, because I have it in this planner. But yeah, um, I guess that's really it. If anything changes, of course, you guys will see that because I, of course I will film a video at some point if, you know, there's any changes or whatnot. But I do plan to do like a little flip through of this um, journal here. I hate that there's like blank pages back here. But like now that it's not June, I feel like I can't go back, you know, and write in this. I don't know. But when I counted, it was like 30 pages, which I guess isn't too bad. But yeah, I don't know. I really love this journal though. So yeah, that's probably what next video is going to be is kind of a flip through of that. But yeah, that's really it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let's see if I'm gonna... I'll just do it like this. So yeah, that's really it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything, leave them down below in the comments. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.